Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, I want to um to share something with you guys uh very briefly. I was doing some some reading today uh not too long ago and I came across some verses that I remember hearing in a song and I'm thinking to myself, okay, according to what I read, in order to make these particular things true, one has to follow a certain order, okay? Okay, so what he's saying is that we're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the field, we bless when we come and when we go. I can't make out what they're saying after that, but at some point in time, I probably, cause now I'm, my, my curiosity has been peaked. Like what are they really singing? So <clears throat> I'm reading, I'm reading the Bible. I'm reading these verses in which this song is, is, is speaking of. And I'm saying to myself, that's not true. Okay. Now, a lot of Christians use the word blessed very loosely without fully understanding what that is, okay? To be blessed, is to have God's unmerited favor on your life. And within this, it's like your life will be fulfilled with joy, prosperity, and protection. That's what it is to be blessed. That is God's favor on your life. That's huge. That's big. Now, <clears throat> Judging by the state of people, I I don't see that to be to be accurate. And the reason why I say that is because there are certain things that have to be done in order for one to truly say that they are blessed in the way that this song is professing that, you know. They're blessed. This is not coming from me. This is what the Bible says, okay? I'm going to read this, this to you. Uh, I'm, a, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but those that really stick out and kind of correspond to this song. And even some things that I, I remember hearing that I didn't I didn't realize. Well, of course, it's in the Bible, but just to read it for myself and to think back when I heard it, you know, it was like, wow. That was like half truths, like Christians living in a false reality of thinking that they're blessed simply because they go to church. You know, they're praying, they're reading the word, uh, they're fasting, um, you know, they're professing, you know, Jesus as their Lord and Savior, you know, they do a little good works here and there, uh, speaking in tongues. So because of these things, a lot of Christians feel that because of that, they're blessed. And they're they're basing themselves being blessed off of the status that they obtain in life, as well as the amount of material possessions that they have. And you feel because of that, you're blessed. Because you got a fancy house, you got a fancy car. Um, uh, <clears throat> you got money in your bank account. You you wearing fly clothes. I know fly. That's 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 old school term. 
uh, you know, you, you, you sitting in, in the seats of, um, well-known people, you have a huge church, you know, full of, full of, uh, folk that you're blessed. No. Understand this. The devil, he performs miracles too. He, he allowed things to, to, he allowed people to obtain certain things, uh, <clears throat> to make them feel as though they're on the right path. Now, if you are outside of what I'm about to read, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't profess comfortably and proudly that I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I wouldn't do that unless you know within your heart of hearts, if you know within your heart of hearts that you're not doing what I'm about to say that the Bible said we are to do to really have these blessings. I wouldn't profess that. I wouldn't profess that because you're deceiving people. The church have deceived a lot of people into thinking that all they have to do is what I I, I, I mentioned, you know, go to church, read the Bible, pray fast, uh, call on Jesus, do a little good works here and there, speak in tongues, that they're blessed. No. Faith without works is dead. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to read this here. And this is coming from Deuteronomy 28, 28 chapter. I'm going to skip around. I'm not going to read the whole, whole chapter, but it says, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said that twice. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That's very important. Okay. Then he goes to say, blessed shall thou be in the city and blessed shall thou be in the field. Okay. That's verse three. I'm going to skip down because this is what the song is saying. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in and blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go a little bit further. Verse 13, because I'm sure some of you might have heard this too. Uh, well, verse 12, part of verse 12, it says, uh, to bless all the work of thy hand and thou shalt lend unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow. Verse 13, and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail and thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath. If, if, Thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of thy words, which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. Okay. Now. This is the Ten Commandments. And what he says in the Ten Commandments, in verse 6, 20, Exodus 20 and 6, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Okay? <clears throat> Let's see. It was one that I wanted to... Uh, I'll do this one. Now, this is talking about the curses. It says, curse be... He that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. And all the people shall say, Amen. So, 
In order for one to say that they are truly blessed, according to the word, this is not me, according to the word, you have to hearken unto the voice of God, do all his commandments, observe them, and not follow after other gods. These are the main three points that Moses pointed out to the children of Israel that they should do in order to receive these blessings. Now, with that, I think I look at the, the state of us as a people. Okay. There is no way that we could truly say we are blessed. Because we're not following God's commandments. We're not doing it. So I found that to be quite interesting. Because a lot of these, these, these Christian songs, they're professing to be, you know, blessed. They're professing to be even, okay, I won't go that far. <laughs> But they're professing to be blessed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, having the favor of God on their lives. And that's really what, what being blessed is, having the favor of God on your life. To a point where as you, you're, your life is filled with joy, peace, prosperity, and protection. Okay? But what people have to understand is... Just because, you know, you, you experience a little joy here, you experience a little peace here, um, you know, you, you, you are obtaining uh, a certain amount of material possessions, you reach a certain status in life, you can't necessarily say that you're blessed by God because especially if you're not following his laws and his commandments. If you're not doing that, you can't say that you're blessed. Understand that the devil has ways of giving you status, giving you material possessions, okay? Making things seem to be blissful and joyful and fulfilling in your life. Especially if you're living outside of God's laws and commandments. Oh yeah, he, he will definitely give you that. Because now you're thinking that, okay, I'm getting all this stuff. Then God must be blessing me. So therefore, I don't have to, to go off of, of, I don't have to live by the laws and commandments of God. No. No. The devil blesses too. Or he makes things happen for you in order to keep you in that state of deception, thinking that you're being blessed by God so that you can live a life outside of God's laws and commandments. Everything you need to know as far as how to live your life righteous and holy and truly be blessed by God is in his word. It's in his word. We at this point, we have been, you know, and even more so now, we are without excuse. Because if you don't have a Bible, you can always look this information up online. That's one of the benefits of having technology. You can find stuff online. So be very careful when you're professing to be blessed based on what you're possessing material possession, you know, fancy cars, fancy houses, fly clothes, money full of in the, you know, of, of money in a bank, you know what I'm saying, uh high status, whatever the case is. Be very careful when you you're professing that especially to to unbelievers without letting them know that hey, I got this because I'm following God's laws and his commandments. Be very careful because you're 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 deceiving people. You're deceiving people 
into feeling as though they don't have to follow God's laws and commandments in order to receive God's blessings. Because you can have all this stuff, you know, um, and not have the, the hands of God upon your life. You can. The devil's working too. So, again, keep that in mind. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I, I, I found it to be quite interesting. Like, wow, you know, I used to listen to this song and sing this song, you know what I'm saying? And hear people profess this, but not following God's laws and commandments. So where are these blessings really coming from? It's something to think about. All right, so... I'm going to end this video, guys. And in the meantime, peace, love, and blessings. Mwah.